Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm the head falconer at Owl Adventures. We're a UK-wide mobile bird of prey business. In this video, I'd like to talk about the British owls and how to identify the species from their territory, where they're actually found. Now, this is because owls are very territorial birds. They don't like any other birds or predators or owls being in the same vicinity as them. Now, usually, in most areas, the more dominant species, the species that there's more number of, will actually work to kick out and move out the smaller number of owls. So you tend not to get different owls like barn owls and little owls and tawny owls all mixed together in one place. So the five native species in this country are the short-eared owl, the long-eared owl, the tawny owl, the barn owl and the little owl. Let's start with the tawny owl. These are traditionally found in woodland. They're also found in any trees down the sides of roads, meadows, that kind of thing. They particularly like tree hollows to nest in, and so woodland is an ideal kind of territory for them, with lots of rodents running around in the undergrowth for them to hunt. The barn owl, which is a similar size, but a very different looking owl to the tawny owl, is found mostly on farmland. So open farmland with lots of hedgerows. They usually nest in, as the name suggests, barns, old buildings. They love a tree hollow, but tree hollows are usually filled with tawny owls and squirrels and things. So it's quite hard to find a hollow, usually for a barn owl, but that's just the right kind of area for them to hunt in. Now, even though they're nocturnal, a bit like the tawny owl is, they will also fly during the day a little bit. Now, there are certain areas of farmland where you can see them flying at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, all owls are more likely to be spotted during the breeding season in spring and summer, as there's a lot of hunting to do. The little owl, which was originally an American species only, an imported bird over 200 years ago, will be found mostly around farmland, but they particularly like dry stone walls, uh, large roots that are on the ground from the tree, and things like that. They're a, a ground-dwelling or a lower-down dwelling bird. They will sometimes nest in trees as well, the little buildings, but they're not usually found up too high, and they do have their own distinctive calls. They're completely diurnal, so you can spot them during the day, and of course, as the name suggests, they are pretty small, weighing only about seven ounces. But even though they are wet during the day, because of their size and because of their sort of camouflaging feathers, they are quite hard to spot. Now, the short-eared owl and the long-eared owl are quite unusual because they are two examples of owls that actually migrate. Most owls don't migrate. Some of the short-eared, long-eared owls live here in the UK all year round, but many of them will migrate across from Northern Europe for a milder or an easier winter. So we can often see them or hear them more often in the autumn and winter months. The short-eared owl is actually larger than the long-eared owl. The long-eared owl is a surprisingly small bird with very really distinctive amber-coloured eyes and those long ear tufts. Now, they prefer evergreens, conifer trees, that kind of thing. They like to hide in the thick foliage, and for many young birds, when they're fledging, these dense canopies act as a safety net when young are learning to fly. So you'll find them in any kind of uh, evergreen sort of trees, typically, whereas the short-eared owl is more often found in marshland. They actually nest in the ground. In fact, when there's heavy rain, this can cause sometimes the young to drown. It is quite a risk. So you find the short-eared owl rather more around coastal areas and any marshy sort of areas. So you can see how owls in this country are very distinctively recognised from just where they are. The tawny owl, trees. The barn owl, open farmland. The little owl, smaller, more rural areas. The short-eared owl, marshy areas, and the long-eared owl in evergreens and conifer trees. So next time you think you've spotted an owl, maybe have a think about where you've spotted it, because that probably will help you identify it quite easily. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll never miss a video. And if you are interested in booking owl adventures for a care home visit, a school visit, a public event, a flying show, or anything like that, then please look us up online, get in touch. You can email us at info at owl-adventures.co.uk. Thanks for watching.